You very likely drive over these structures every day, but you've never really given them a second thought. I mean, why would you? What truthfully is noteworthy about our highway underpasses? In summary, Southern Ontario's endangered cougar populations native to the area are using our freeway underpasses for their survival as they depend on them for their migrational paths, for expanding the territory of their young ones, and staying alive. So in this video, I will totally explain how on that. You also will want to stay tuned until the end of the video, as I'm going to have new photographic evidence and videos of cougars being in Southern Ontario. Well, I learned something a few weeks ago about cougars. Cougars are an animal which actually refuse to cross our freeways whenever possible. The only way they'll cross a freeway is if they have no other choice. To prove my point to you, imagine that you're only two and a half feet tall. You're very short and you walk up to a freeway. The first obstacle for you to cross is a guardrail. Then you have three lanes of traffic, then the median in the middle, and then another three lanes of traffic and another guardrail. Likely, if you had any kind of common sense, like these animals seem to, you realize that if you try and cross that freeway, you're likely going to die. So these animals are walking along the freeway, trying to find a way across. Have you ever heard of a wildlife bridge? Well, it's literally just that. It's a bridge that was designed for wildlife to safely cross over top or perhaps underneath a freeway. One of the species that this, these bridges were designed especially for would actually be mountain lions. Our highway underpasses are almost acting like a wildlife bridge that you would see in Banff National Park or other areas of the United States. As you know, this channel is about proving that mountain lions are truly established in Ontario. And the only way I can really prove that is if I get video evidence of a mother with a young cub. Now, in order to get that footage, I need to place my trail cams in the best possible spots. This information gives me a new strategy. I can start putting my trail cams in areas where mountain lions have no choice but to go through. Areas where they're coming to me rather than me always going to them. In theory, I could set up 12 trail cams along the whole 401 highway and use the 401 like a net to cover 170 kilometers of large animal traffic. It's a really cool thought. But unfortunately, truth be told, I, I don't have a dozen trail cams. Trail cams are genuinely expensive. And in the future, I, I might have to just reach out to you guys and say, would you like to donate to this project just for to help me get more trail cams? Or just let me borrow some that you're not using, perhaps. But uh, perhaps I'll get into that in a later video. I chose to set this one trail cam up in the best location where I felt most likely to capture footage of a cougar. So far all I've captured is trains and coyotes and dead batteries. So I'll have to make a long trek out there in the deep snow again to uh, refill it. But it seems to be a promising spot and I feel very confident about it because I even had a wildlife conservation authority respond back to me and let me know they had a sighting in the area. No doubt you guys you would like to know what new evidence I've found of cougars being in Southern Ontario, specifically photographic evidence. And I just want to say, like, just remember take, to take these any photos I give you guys with a grain of salt, because they're not verified by the MNR. And they could genuinely be a uh, uh, misdiagnosed photo. But I like sharing them just because I, I truthfully find it fun. I find it fun to go through photos and to have photos where you're like, that's definitely a cougar or that's maybe a cougar or that's a house cat. And just to leave it up to you guys, because it's fun. It's fun to go through the photos. It's fun to examine them. So let's start off with two videos. And I love these videos. It's, you can tell if it's a cat, it's, it's fairly big. And the people in the videos are describing them as a cougar. So one is just like three seconds long. But this one specific video is perfect. I'll let you guys watch it now. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that looks like a giant cat. And it just lifted its tail and sprayed, sprayed the trees. So if in the video, as she said, that cat was truthfully spraying and marking its territory, that is huge. 
because it's communication between other big cats. And perhaps if there were no other big cats in the area, would it feel as, you know, eager to do that? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe a little bit of room for speculation on there. But the fact that this cat is doing something to communicate with others could suggest there's more than one in the area. So it's, it's really cool. Also, I have a few photographs, which uh, we're examining right now, but they seem likely to be a mountain lion. One's from uh, Wilsonville. I know it's that night and I know it's fuzzy, but we've studied this, my uh, wildlife conservationist friend and I, and they seem to be a cougar, a juvenile cougar, a juvenile, but they seem to be a cougar. Once again, the black spot on the end of the tail and kind of like the shape of the body is a dead giveaway. So we actually have two photos from the whole other end of Ontario in Kenora. Uh, the first video here was actually captured on a trail cam. I'll put the link for the video in the description down below in case you want to watch it yourself. We have another uh, photo which was taken around that same area in the Winnipeg River. Sad, of course, to see an animal that drowned like that, but at least some good has come out of it. One more photo. It was taken from the Bruce Peninsula. And if you look carefully at the tail, at the very end, you can tell it's most likely a cougar due to that black spot. Another goal I want this video series to do is I want it to add another little thing which helps you all feel more special about living in Ontario. Ontario is not perfect, like any other place in the globe, but there are still a lot of beautiful things about living here. And the nature is definitely one of them. The, the, you just don't get this in other places of the world. You don't get wild animals and big cats being in your backyard, potentially. You don't get the, the variety, the scenery, the abundance of life. And it truthfully is a gift to have this here where we live. So I thought it, in this video series, if I can prove that mountain lions are here to stay in urban Ontario, it might be something which can help everyone feel a little more special about home. So if you found this video interesting, I would suggest for you to subscribe because this was really just a little update of what this channel is uncovering bit by bit. For example, in the future, I'm gonna release a cougar map of all the word of mouth sightings of cougars being in Southern Ontario. And that's another interesting thing you're not gonna wanna miss. So the, way, the best way for you not to miss it would be to hit the subscribe button down below. Uh, if you're not subscribed, you're not going to get notified, and you might miss out on the cool future content this channel is going to produce. So, stay tuned. You guys are going to enjoy it.